everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. So today's video is for those aspiring rock hounds out there. So if you're just getting started with rock hounding, mineral or crystal collecting, this is for you. you're going to want to have some reference guides, field guides or maps. I find that these uh, Audubon field guides, this one's for rocks and minerals and this one's for fossils, they're really nice, they're really small and packed with lots of information plus sample images to help you get started. And I will also be putting out another video on um, books and references that I think would be great if you're just getting started with this. So check out that video as well. You're going to want to have with you some sort of mineral ID kit. And I also do a whole video on this and go into the details of what you want to bring along with you in a mineral ID kit. What is it? Well, it will include things like streak plates and magnets and hand lenses and stuff like that. But if you want to know how to build your own mineral identification kit, definitely check out that video and bring that along as well. This Another nice thing to have, especially when you're first getting started, is just some sort of basic kit with samples in it. So you'd have some rock, mineral, and fossil samples in your kit. Now this is really useful for identifying certain minerals and make your own little kit, maybe in one of these tackle boxes or something like that. Or you can actually buy prepackaged kits that have um, kind of those classic samples in them to get you started. Next, you're going to need some tools for actually collecting and extracting those minerals. So right off the bat, a rock hammer is a good idea, as well as possibly even a chisel. You might actually have to extract them out, so these tools are really handy for that. So a rock hammer, definitely something you want to have if you're a rock hound. In addition to that, when you are working in the field, definitely do not forget to get some safety glasses. Also, it's really nice just to have a, a good pair of gloves of some sort. So definitely some relatively inexpensive things that'll go a long way in the field. Now, when you do find a great piece that you wanna take along with you, it's also very helpful to have something with you, say like a bucket or something that you can throw those rocks into. If you'll be working with things like crystals or anything that's sensitive, also fossils, and you need to transport them, newspaper is a great simple thing to have along to wrap these fossils or minerals or crystals that you find and get them home safely. Now, after you transport those rough samples home, then you have to start thinking about preparation and storage. One thing that I find really useful are things like tackle boxes. You can get a lot of different kinds of tackle boxes, but they have nice little separated areas for you to store your minerals and rock samples. But you're going to want some sort of maybe a miniature notebook or something. You want to label your samples when you get them as early as you can. And things that you want to put on your label include some rough information about how you have identified them, if you have identified them. Locality information is really important. So really as much as you can write down about where you got it from and the details about it is really important to put on labels. Now there's lots of things that you can get for processing your minerals. It all depends on the purpose for your collecting them. For the most part, a toothbrush is a really good thing to have in, in the field as well as at home um, for just cleaning off some of that dirt right off of the mineral right away. You might even need this for things like fossils or something that you need to be delicate with. Sometimes just a simple bottle uh, that you can put water in, so a bottle of water, a bottle of dilute acid. Sometimes you need chemicals that clean off the uh, iron or other stains that'll be on your crystals to get them shining and more clear and beautiful looking. And some other equipment that you might also need later would be things like cutting blades for say slicing pieces of agates or polishers, rock tumblers, like a UV light if you'll be looking into fluorescent mineral collection, Geiger counters if you think you will be collecting or working around rocks and minerals that could be radioactive. So there you have it, the things you need to get started rock hounding, crystal hunting, fossil hunting. These are the items I would recommend if you're getting started and if you don't have these on hand, I'm also going to stick links to all of the things I talked about today in the description. So check that out. Don't forget if you want to also do mineral collecting and identification to check out the video that goes a lot more detail into that than I did here today. If you want to learn more about geology, all you got to do is join me here at Let's Go Geo. Happy rock hounding. I'll see you guys next time.